We're hearing from the victim of a brutal dog attack that happened this weekend after a police canine escaped from his handler's home. But we have also obtained the paperwork that dives deeper into what happened that night, and some of it's pretty shocking. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett joins us live with the latest. Good evening, John and Christina. Well, the victim is obviously still very shaken up. In fact, he and his family had just moved into this neighborhood on Friday before the dog attacked him on Sunday. Now, he still has very deep wounds to his arms, his fingers, and also his hand, but he's glad that it wasn't much, much worse. Now, it all happened Sunday night around 1130. Avondale Police Department says canine Rico went missing from his handler's home nearby in Goodyear, near Lower Buckeye and Estrella Parkways. A report from the Mayor Copa County Animal Care and Control says the dog was let outside to eat, and when family members came to get him, they noticed a side gate was open and he was gone. Avondale police reached out to nearby agencies for help using helicopters to search for the dog overnight. According to the report, while Rico was out, the victim, Rogelio Jaquez, was working on his camper when he saw the dog with a silver choke chain collar coming running towards him. The report says the dog lunged towards the man's face. He lifted his arms in self fence and the dog bit both of his arms. They wrestled for a little bit until his wife came out with a broom hitting the dog, which then ran away down the street. Rico was found the next morning by an off-duty officer. He has been with his canine officer for about five years now. For now, the department has advised that canine Rico to be sequestered to his home with the exception of going to work as well as other conditions of the home quarantine while they investigate. For now, though, that victim says his wounds are extensive and might even impact impact his ability to work as a welder. I really felt um, hurt because police dogs are trained to attack bad people. I'm not a bad person and I got attacked for some reason, but my kids were out here playing 10, 15 minutes prior to that. Mm -hmm. And they just, you know, overthinking, what if my kids would have, you know? Mm -hmm. But as for now, uh, my worry is just getting I don't know, feeling back in my fingers and movement just to get back to work. Yeah, and for now, his main priority is getting better so he can go back to work. Of course, he says he has not decided yet whether he wants to press charges or not, and it's still unsure whether what will happen with this dog or if euthanasia is on the table. Reporting live tonight, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.